In order to install IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition in Windows system, first go to Google and there you type download IntelliJ IDEA. Press enter. So the first site would be JetBrains site and the download page. Let me click over here. Inside JetBrains, you can see two editions. One is Ultimate, which is the professional edition. It has 30 day trial available. And another is Community. Here we don't need any trial, it is completely free. We are going to set up Community Edition. So if we click these buttons, then download will start. So there is option for exe as well as zip. That is one way. But in this way, what will happen? The latest version of the community edition would be downloaded. If we want any specific version, in order to download that, we need to go to this section, other versions. Here, if I go, you can see different version related drop downs are present like 2022.2.2. If I scroll down 2022.1. So all these versions are listed in case we want any old versions. If I click the drop down here, we have the different releases here. So let me select any sample release. So this is the one and I'm going to download this. On the left hand side, mind you, this is the ultimate one. So don't click on any version, then ultimate would get downloaded. We want the community. So inside community also, we have Windows EXE and ZIP. For this particular lesson, I'm going to stick with EXE. So let me click over here. The download has started. Once the download gets completed, go to this exe file and double click. Click next. Here, by default, IntelliJ IDEA would provide the destination folder which is inside the program files. I don't want it to get installed inside the program files. Rather, I would provide a custom folder location. So, I am changing the folder location. Done. Click next. Select create desktop shortcut. Next. Install. Now, this installation would take at least few minutes. I am going to pause the video recording. Once the installation is done, I will resume. So, the setup is finished. I can check this box and click on finish. In that case, IntelliJ IDEA would run. I won't do that. Let me click finish. Go to the desktop. Here, I have the icon. Double click over here. Now, initially IntelliJ IDEA may ask for importing the settings and all. Better you select do not import settings. Click on OK. Now, the ID is opening. This is the default UI we get when we install the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. Let me customize this a bit. I don't like this particular theme. So here we have the option to change the theme. I am changing it to IntelliJ Lite. So again go back to projects. So there are three options. Create new project, open an existing one and get from VCS. I am going to create a new project. It's trying to detect the JDK. As you can see it has identified the JDK. This is already present in my system. Now here there are two things one is the project name and the location by default it is providing this particular location but I would point to a custom directory where I want all the IntelliJ IDEA projects to be created. So let me change the location from here. Click OK. Now here let me provide a project name. I don't want to create a git repository so it should be as is language is Java and build system I am going to use Maven. Now, these options may vary depending on your particular requirement. Let me click on create. Maximize the window. On the right hand side, you can see it is scanning the files to index. So, let's wait for a minute or so, so that the internal setup that IntelliJ IDEA does, it's finished. So, it's indexing the JDK 1.8 now. If I click here, you can see the background tasks here, right? It is reading the Maven project, updating the indexes. We have to wait for this to finish. I would pause the recording for a while. Once these are finished, I would resume. Now all the background tasks are complete. Let me open this test project. Okay, I have a typo in the project name. Anyways, let us move ahead. Expand this location. Go to source, main, Java. I'm going to create a sample file. New, Java class. Provide the class name, press enter. Use the template to create the main method. Just give a sys out. Control S. Right click, run this file. Now what I can see, the sysout is working, the program is working. So what we have done, we have downloaded the IntelliJ Community Edition and set up a sample Java project and it is working fine.